All right, what's up guys? Today we will be doing a video on how to create your own custom Ymaps in 5M using Code Walker. The first thing you're going to need is obviously Code Walker. Um, the best way to get it is to join their Discord and go to releases and download the newest one. I'll have a link in the description for that. And next thing you'll need is a prop website. My favorite is Pleb Masters. Uh, yeah, Pleb Masters. If you are a 5M dev, this is a great website for you to use. They got objects, vehicles, all this stuff. But today we're gonna to be using objects to figure out, you know, what objects we want to use prop wise. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open Code Walker. I have the folder here. We're gonna go to the codewalker.exe and we're just gonna open that and wait for it to load. All right, so now that Code Walker is all all loaded and everything, you're going to press T and that's gonna bring up your edit menu and then you're gonna let these arrows out and that's gonna bring up this menu. So what you need to do is go to selection and Make sure you click on mouse selection so you can actually select things. So what we're going to be doing is basic movement, WASD, um, hold down left mouse to move their camera around and shift to move faster. Scroll wheel to go faster and slower, pretty simple. So we're just going to do some simple stuff like let's just add a gate here. We're just going to add a gate to this little house here for them. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click new project and do oh, new, oh my God, new YMAP file. So it's going to bring up this here and our map is created. Um, it's going to rename it. You can rename it right here. We'll do gate YMAP. There we go. So the first thing we're going to do is click the YMAP and go to YMAP and click new entity. And there it is. There's a new entity. So to change it, we're going to go to, we're going to bring Pleb Masters here. We're going to search a gate. Um, we're going to find a gate that we like. Yeah, we'll just do this gate. You just copy it. And then you're going to change the archetype here to that. And there's the gate. So hold still and press. Okay, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you're going to press this button, move it up, down, left, right, and then E to rotate, W to go back to this uh, mode, and you can't scale. Uh, I want to make that clear for this. You cannot scale in Code Walker. It will not work. If you want to change the size of a prop, you have to change it in like Blender or whatever modeling software you use, yada, yada, yada. All right, so... <laughs> We're just going to make this sweet and simple. We'll just put another one over here for lack of repetition. So put that there. Put that there. I know it looks weird, but we're just trying to do this quick. So there's that. Um, so then you have all your flags. So static object means you won't be able to hit over. It explains what it is. The, the UNK ones are ones that they don't know. So obviously they don't know what it is. Uh, you can change the LOD distance, um, all that stuff, rotation. And you can change it all here, but it's easier just to do it here. So the next thing you do is you're going to click Gate Y Map. You're going to click Calculate Extents and Calculate Flags. That's what you always need to do that for making a Y Map and anything in Code Walker is before you save the Calculate Extents and Flags. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to open our folders and we're going to go to our server and we'll just, uh, where's tutorial stuff? Here it is. I'm going to go gate YMAP. map, make a folder called that. And then we're going to need a folder called stream and then we're going to do a little file because we're going to execute it. FX manifest dot Lua. We go. Uh, I don't actually remember what the game version is, so we're actually just gonna grab it from a different map. This one shouldn't have two, so we'll get rid of that. So here we go. Then paste that in. So pretty much this is basically the other ones, game version, game, and then th this is a map. Yes, there you go. So next, all we need to do is go into stream. We're gonna go file save gate y map as it's going to bring you to your folders and then you're going to go find where your folder is 
Yep, yep, here we go. And you're going to save it into the stream. Just click save. Boom, it saved. Then we don't even need Code Walker and open anymore. I would recommend saving your Code Walker projects so you can have it for later. But obviously, I'm not going to do that because um, I have no need. It's a simple project. This is just the basis of it. You can have as many props as you want. Just remember that it will lag your game. Y maps are not very good for buildings and stuff. Um, they're more used for um, outdoor props and everything, so you don't want a lot of Y maps in your server. So I'm going to load up the server, and I'll be right back once it's in. All right, we're in the server now. Let's go over to the spot where it is. Here it is. I don't think these ones are actually openable gates. Um, I don't actually know. I didn't really check. I just grabbed a random gate. Um, so yeah, see, it obviously worked. Um, a lot of stuff's trial and error, to be honest. Um, you look at it in game, then you go back into Cold Walker and change it how you want it to be. Um, uh, my best bet is to go around to other spots on the map that are already made in Y maps and get the props, and then just transfer to your own Y map. Um, yeah, that's basically how the Y maps are done. If you have any questions, just ask in Discord, and peace out.